Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm not out at the cabin today, or tonight actually. I'm down on the Wisconsin River. I'm doing my probably my last catfish run. Uh, so, down here we got um, mostly channel catfish. There's a few flatheads uh, once in a while, but not, not too often. The flatheads usually are quite good sized, and the channel, channel basically are eating size. Uh, five six pounders um, or smaller but uh, I thought I'd uh, make a video on uh, what we do here uh, Wisconsin you can run three poles or three hooks per line basically you can have three hooks and uh, however you do it with three up to three poles or you can do one pole with three hooks I believe is the way the law is written so anyway I do just a single hook and, uh, but anyway, I thought I'd try it. Hopefully, if I catch some, I'll do a, a, a cook. I'll fry them up out at the cabin tomorrow. At least that's the plan. If I don't catch any, you won't see this video. So, anyhow, it's, it's kind of a crapshoot. It's the end of October. Uh, I think it's the last weekend. Um, I have caught catfish up to Halloween. And some people claim they catch them through the ice, but not, not regularly. Uh, this stretch of river uh, usually has a lot of smaller uh, catfish so as a matter of fact I got a bite right now um, it's a circle hook and uh, we'll just see what happens it's, it could be a small actually there's bullheads and there's a lot of other things in here too but we'll just sit back and watch what happens minutes. When you have bites after a few minutes, you probably should pull up and check it. If you don't hook up. It could be, you know, a fish could have ripped it loose or anything like that. Well, I'm going to pull it up. Nothing, nothing biting here. And hitting and let go. We'll see if we got anything left. Cut bait still on, check it, throw it out. I only got one, something I think. This is pretty small. What the heck we got here now? Ain't fighting very good. Bullhead? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> oh shit. I got a walleye. I caught a walleye on chicken breast. <laughs> oh my god. That was a dinky ass, this little bite. And a huge god awful circle hook. Size. Get my gloves on. 
channel catfish. It's a nice channel catfish, or decent enough size for here. Just right for eating size. Uh. They do have spines, but they're not poisonous or anything like that. That's all, all wrong. You got hard, hard mouths. Once you hook them, you usually got them. Well, that's about three pounds. I'm not going to weigh him. He's not very big. He's just right. There. So. Get her keeping that out. See if we can catch a couple more. Another nice one, same, roughly the same size. Full of leaves. Like I said, not huge. Little decent size eating fish. Well, it's starting to get pretty cold out here, and I just lost one, so. I think I'm going to pack up. I'm going to grab my one fish right here. Hello everyone, welcome to the cabin. We're going to have catfish for lunch. I'm going to show you how I normally do it. Uh, channel catfish I caught yesterday and um, soaked it in salt overnight and then fry it up today for lunch. Uh, that's the ideal situation. Uh, normally I don't freeze a lot of catfish or anything, uh, stock up on it. Uh, I can usually catch them six months out of the year. We're in October, we're right at the end of the season for, the, for catfish. I mean some people catch them through the ice but I've always found that you get into November they don't bite very well. Usually in October they still they still bite. You can catch them, um, channel catfish anyway. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to do it in a black iron pan or you know Dutch oven and uh, nice and uh, seasoned. So and it it makes a nice thing for catfish. So I'll show you how, what I'm going to do here. Okay, what we'll do, what I normally like to do, and it, I take my black iron. And I'll stick that on the fire quick. It doesn't. Doesn't take long for it to heat up. You get half a pat of butter here. Throw that in there. So I like I like fried potatoes and onions and then catfish. So basically we chop everything up first. It's the last of my Vidalias. So then slice your potatoes. All I got is a small paring knife, but it'll do the job. Okay, so I got that little jobby done. Now my catfish mix, and I've done this for a while. Um, I usually use cornmeal and uh, rice flour. And I don't know why I started using rice flour. It just it's real sticky. It sticks nice to the, to the fish. 
So, and of course, now these fish I soaked overnight in salt, these are fillets. And uh, this is actually about, I think, a one and a half fish, so whatever. And they're about eh, four pounds. So they're pretty good sized fillets. You pat the water down, or pat the water off, I should say. And then uh, you get, them, get them in the, the shore mix. I mean, people, you know, you can buy, actually, you can buy good shore lunch mix or, you know, whatever shake and bake kind of thing but I make my own normally um, if I don't soak the fish in salt water overnight then I don't then I add salt you know there's a little bit of pepper in there and uh, that's pretty much the way I like it I mean it doesn't change the flavor of the fish the fish are good enough on their own and maybe some people don't like them if you don't like them it's probably because whoever made them for you didn't make them right but so you just coat them and then we'll let them sit. They go on last. One thing about a whitefish, like catfish, or actually any whitefish, um, usually they're pretty delicate. It doesn't take long. And and they're done. So and of course you keep a pat of butter, put that in once you're hot. So I'm gonna move us over. We can see it frying. Yeah, you really could uh, do this on the propane inside too. It'd probably probably be easier controlling the temperature. That is the one bad thing with these uh, Dutch ovens. Uh, but if you watch them, they're okay. But if you do it inside, and of course you're cooking fish or you're frying fish, that's what it's going to smell like. So I try to do it outside if I can. I'm going to say they're done. I'll take these out now. Now for the fish. Throw on a little butter. Usually I use olive oil, but I got canola. Canola is good. Uh, smoke point's pretty high. It, it helps though. You want a good temperature for the fish. It doesn't have to be super hot, but I want to make it even. Throw your coals around. Get you a leather glove. Try to get it level. There we go. As level as possible. You gotta kind of guess and see where your temperature is at, but it looks like the butter is browning a little bit. It's probably plenty hot enough. Drop our catfish fillets in, see what they look like.
check it. Yep, he's turning. You can see now I've got more heat on one end than the other, so I'll just flip it and make sure we get that piece cooked a little better over here. I'm going to put the lid back on for another two minutes. It should be done. Okay, it's been about two minutes. Let's take a look at it. I would say they are done. My potatoes are still warm even though uh, even though it's kind of cool out today. So that's nice. The guy could throw those back in if he wanted to. But I'm just going to pull the catfish. We got enough here for two people. Doesn't mean I'm not going to eat it all. Just take a quick taste here. That falls apart nice. Mm. Salty, not too much because I rinsed it off, but there's always a little bit of salt if you soak them overnight. It's not a bad idea. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had making it, actually. So, uh, fishing is my summer hobby, kind of. Uh, other than the cabin and uh, I don't do it enough and I particularly like catfishing for some reason I don't know why but uh, it's kind of an interesting interesting uh, interesting little game to play it's different it's relaxing so but anyway like subscribe and share if you like what you saw click the bell notification I can't promise videos every week but every couple weeks I usually drop one uh, sometimes at the cabin, sometimes outdoor related, you know, kind of a general thing. Once in a while, you know, show you something that's cool. So, uh, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.